Alright guys, so today we worked on adding and subtracting decimals um, and we talked about how we can use graph paper to really help us keep those decimal points nice and neat and lined up. So as you're doing your work today, I highly recommend if you have that graph paper, use it. Okay, keep everything all nice and neat and lined up and that way you don't have to wonder what's in what column. Okay, so a couple of quick notes to remind ourselves of how to add and subtract decimals. We're going to start with example one, and obviously it's an adding problem. So a couple things to add the decimals, rewrite the numbers so that the decimal points line up. Okay, so we want all of our decimal points to line up. Then we're going to add zeros as placeholders behind the decimal if we need to. Okay, so a couple things to keep in mind, like for example, our first number here, it doesn't have a decimal point. So if we don't have a decimal point, if it's out of sight, it's all the way to the right. So on our whole numbers here, our decimal point's all the way to the right, it's right here after the three, okay? So again, we're gonna use our graph paper to line those decimal points up. One number per box is how we're gonna keep it all nice and neat. So my first number is 213. It's a whole number, so my decimal point's all the way to the right. And then I have a 4.2, so I have a four decimal two. 0 0.635, 0 point, line up those decimal points, 6, 3, and then 5. And then our last one is plus 13.54, so I line them up, 1, 3, point, all nice and neat and lined up, and then my 5 and my 4, and we're going to add those. Now, before we add them, we're going to add in our zeros as placeholders. So behind my 213, I want everything nice and neat and square, so I need three zeros as placeholders to help us when we're gonna add straight down the column. Behind my two, I need two placeholders, two zeros. Now, my 0 0.635 is my longest number, so I don't need any placeholders there. And then behind my 13.54, I have one empty space, so I'm gonna put in a zero as my placeholder. Now, when we're adding large stacks of numbers like this, all we gotta do is add straight down the column, and just be careful as we are carrying to finish out the problem. So on our first column here, we have zero plus zero plus five plus zero, and that gives us a five. Then our second column, we have zero plus zero plus three plus four, that gives us a seven. Next column, zero plus two plus six, that's eight, plus five more is 13. So when we're carrying numbers, we put our three down here, and then we're going to carry our 1 for our 13 to the next column. Also, as we're adding decimal points and they're all nice and neat and lined up, we're just going to drop our decimal point straight down as we're adding and then move on to the next column. We have 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 4 more is 8, plus 0 is 8, plus 3 more is 11. So I put my 1 here and then I carry another 1 up here. Continue to add straight down. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. 2 plus nothing is 2. So our final answer for this problem is 231.375. All right, so let's move on to subtracting decimals. When we subtract decimals, it's going to be the exact same thing, except instead of addition, we're going to subtract. So to subtract decimals, we're going to rewrite the number so the decimal points line up vertically. So we're lining up those decimal points again. We're also going to add in zeros as placeholders behind the decimal if we need to. So again, we're still gonna be using our graph paper here. And our graph paper um, is gonna help us keep our numbers nice and neat and lined up so we know exactly where everything is going to go. So we're gonna always start with the number that comes in the front here. So we're gonna have our 4.3, and then we're gonna line up the decimal point. So my zero is gonna go under my four, and line up that decimal point, one, six, and eight, okay? Now, like I said, instead of addition, we're gonna be subtracting, but we're still gonna add in our zeros as placeholders. So as you see, there's two places here behind the three that we need to add in our zero, okay? Now, we're gonna just subtract our columns. So zero minus eight, we can't take that away. We can't take eight away from zero. So we're gonna mark it out and we're gonna regroup and make this zero a 10. Now, I um, can't just make it a 10. I've gotta borrow from here. There's nothing here. So I'm gonna scooch over and instead of zero, we're gonna look at this as a 30, okay? So I took one from 30. So this is now a 29 and this is 10, okay? 
All right, now we're ready to subtract. 10 minus eight is two. Nine minus three, or sorry, nine minus six is three. Two minus one is one. We're still subtracting and we've lined our points up, so we're just gonna drop our decimal points straight down into our answer. Four minus zero is four. So our final answer is 4.132.